without lawful authority or reasonable excuse, you had with you in a public place a bladed article, namely a zombie knife. To that charge, what do you plead? Not guilty, not. Guilty. What? Mum? Hiya, son. Got something you want to tell me? I called her. I was going to have a go at her about not supporting Dylan in court. Turns out she didn't know about it. She also wasn't abroad, like Dylan said she was. How could you keep all this from me? I was dealing with it. All right. Great job, Sean. Well, things may have escalated. I'm his mum. I had a right to know. He said that he'd spoken to you. He said that he rang you and that you were fine. I lied. How could you do that, Dylan? Again! Have you not learned anything? I was scared. It's not his job. You're the adult. You could have picked up the phone at any point over the last few months. I just didn't want to worry you. <sighs> My son has been in court, charged with possession of a knife. He is running wild on your watch. Don't have a go at Dad. This is my fault. I know it is. I haven't even started with you yet, but he's the parent. He's in charge. I'm sorry. Sorry's not good enough. You were supposed to be looking after our son and you have failed completely. I'm just sorry how it's all turned out. So you keep saying. He just fell in with the wrong crowd at school. He never had any problems like this when he was in London. Yeah, but he was younger than... I, I know that it doesn't seem that long ago, but he was... He was, he was younger and... And lads, well... They just find trouble wherever they are, don't they? Trouble, yeah. Skiving off school and smoking, but this is a whole different league. Knives. Criminal charges, caught. Well... <laughs> There is a theory that this could have happened whilst he was with you. Don't try and wriggle out of your responsibilities. I'm not. I'm just saying... Dylan kept this from me. All of it. From all of us. I had absolutely no idea any of this was going on. And when you did find out, you didn't tell me. Maybe I could have helped stop things getting as bad as they did. I just thought I could handle it. Well, clearly you can't. So what now? Well, I need to get him away from here before things get any worse. I'm taking him back to London. I don't want to go back to London. I live here. After what you've done, you don't get a choice. Look, I'm sorry about what I've done. I am. But we're getting through it now. I can't take any more risks. You need a stable home life, not dossing down here with every Tom, Dick and Harry. Do you agree with this? I'm sorry, son. I think, I think your mum's made her mind up. What is it? Do you not want me anymore? Of course I do. You're just in a lot of trouble, Dylan. Yeah, and I'd still be in trouble in London. And I'd be away from you. Right, it's non-negotiable. You are coming back home. No, you're not listening to me. This is my home. Please, just let me stay. No, it's not safe. What about my rehabilitation order? Community service? I've spoken to them. It can be transferred to London. And school? I've got my GCSEs this year. I've already rung your old one. You can go back there. You can do something called a managed move. Oh, I hated that place. <sighs> well, at least you weren't getting involved with gangs. Please, Mum. No! Look, you've brought this on yourself, the pair of you. Dad, come on, don't let her do this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I... I think it's for the best. Right, now go and get your stuff packed. We're leaving today. Sorry, Dad. Come on, we'll miss the train. I'll text you when we get back. Violet. What is it? Please don't take my son away from me. I've got to. It's for his own good, you know that. I'm going to miss him so much. Well, you'll miss him even more if he gets sent down. Or worse. <laughs> I can't believe I 
I've got it so badly wrong. You've done your best. <laughs> no, but it wasn't good enough, was it? You're a good dad. All kids are a nightmare. Don't matter how much you try, they still find a way to break your heart. <laughs> I'm just gonna miss him so much. <laughs>